basically here yeah, every 7th of july united states of america hosting precisely every 7th of july is davido's day well davido performed in that city 19,000 capacity sold out and because of the performance and the mayor was also there he decided to be like you know what you have done something no one has ever done before i don't know if no one has ever done it before but he said yeah you have, you have done something that no one has ever done before you know and to reward you they gave him a proclamation certificate proclaiming that every 7th of july is now davido's day and also they gave him the key to the city big up to davido that's another achievement but we have seen a lot of numerous artists who have been giving keys to the city and uh, giving their special day the sweet things about that special day is that it doesn't really bring anything or any kind of benefit to but it gives you some kind of, uh, you know, connection and uh, just to put it somewhere in your eye eye and just to flex your muzzle. And no thing on that particular 7th of July, there will be no declaration for anybody on that date. If they are, maybe they want to honor someone, on that 7th of July, it's no longer available to honor anybody. He has already been given to David. David, now your David is... So David Doe can decide it, can decide, you know, every 7th of July, I want to be coming to hosting to host a party because that is my day. There are some artists uh, who have almost every every city in Central America, they get day, their own day. Whiskey was uh, awarded, Bona Boy, you know, so many of them as well that have been awarded before. And meanwhile, you know, I said, I wrote something on my Twitter the other day. I said, It is going to a week now, David has refused to address the pregnancy allegation from Anita, Brown and others. If he has regards for his wife, Choma, and fans, he should address it. If he has regard for his wife, Choma, and fans, David Doe should come out to address that incident. So David Doe should address it. I am on the opinion that David Doe should address it. Although he made a video, he made a video thanking fans, thanking everything about his life, just uh, cruising in the video, just talking though, but he never really went straight to the point. He should address it. So it basically means that anybody, if he decides to say, David, don't give me belly. In fact, fans don't even turn out to be cruise. Every girl that just say David do don't give me belly. Even the pregnant one will show their pregnancy, make another bank give them, say David do don't give my belly. It's not become a cruise. Very soon it will become a TikTok challenge. <laughs> well, listen to David, guys. Yeah. I just want to personally, you know what I'm saying, just give everybody a big thank you for supporting the album. The album is going crazy. And, and I'm happy, you know what I'm saying? More videos coming out. You know, we got Phil video coming soon. Obviously, Kante and the rest will follow back, follow after. But yeah, man, Houston tonight, Chicago tomorrow, Thomas Tour selling out. God is good, man. God is good, and it's good to be appreciated. And I appreciate everything happening around me. So, yeah. Oh, look. He said. I appreciate everything happening around me. David, do thanks fans for supporting him. We know you are blessed. We know you appreciate. We know you are generous. We know all those things. But I'll address that matter. Can you just, just keep quiet and allow women to just make up false accusation because say you get one nice time with them or because say you deny them. You allow them to just ruin your name, almost ruin your name, ruin your relationship. You allow them to just almost ruin your relationship and just going to keep quiet and just allow it to slide because you get too much money. We know, see if I'm here, honestly, I'll get those women time on. I'll still go on with my tour, go on with my business and everything, but 
I'll get you that time. I will make sure I break down the heads on you. Like, don't be say, how can you just keep quiet? These people, these were straight allegations. Someone made so much money from it. Someone made so much fame. That's Anita Brown from 500k followers to one point something million k followers simply because she decided to come out to bring out an allegation. Maybe David Doe say, you know what? I cannot see you anymore. You and I cannot see you anymore. Please, I don't want to see you, see you anymore. I'm married. Maybe that's why the ghetto say, hey, and I like so you they do me, I will deal with you then. David Doe will just keep quiet like that. What the hell? Why you go keep quiet? Why you will keep quiet? So I think he, he needs to come out to address it. Let us know if truly, if truly all those women are saying the truth or not. Even the other one from France. Ha! Ah, because of one night stand, though, automatically you don't get belayed through. Even the other lady who lost her job in Nigeria, that one lost her job. I actually apologize. That one should also pay as well. Why you go just allow all those things slide? So let's move over from David one. Let's talk about his family. Well, their delicate family is a really strong family. They are known for their generosity, and a delicate family are known for being very, very strong together. You know, nobody, no one come outside from that kind of family. Knowing that your uncle is not having his brother children. Knowing that I can call my father, brother, my father, and eat, sleep in his house, party in his house, and lose guard for his house, and nothing will happen. Do you know that kind of feeling? You know that kind of blessing to have a very, very uh, a nice family? <laughs> For those of you who are from Nigeria or are from Africa, you know, you know very well. You know what family members can do to ruin your life. You know, you know now. So having a family like Adeleke is one of the biggest flex for the old Adeleke's children. Well, you know, the dancing senator is the current governor of Ushun state well he decided to bring out a list there's a dancing senator dancing governor of Ushun state set commissioner list and two people from his family made the list say adeni k adeli k murof adeli k the media will be silent will fire an animal and namities will not wail well, that's the person who posted about this, saying that uh, the media are silent about uh, the dancing senator appointing uh, two of his uh, persons to be to be in his government. If we are completely honest, then eh, hmm, there is nothing, absolutely nothing wrong with it. Absolutely nothing wrong with it. If they can deliver. Why not? If that is their way, area of expertise, if I get Peking, and my Peking is an engineer or a doctor who has been working as a doctor and know what he's doing, I will make him the Minister of Health. Yeah. Straight up. If he knows what he's doing and I know he can deliver, I will make him the Minister of Health. So, government is employing people with capacity, trust, and who can deliver. It doesn't say government is employing people outside your family. No, 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 no. That's not government. It never said so. Government is employing people with capacity and trust. If you are giving that government office, you are supposed to employ people with capacity and trust. It doesn't mean where they come from in Nigeria, as long as they are Nigerians. Employ them. Are you saying, see, very soon, eh, hmm? Tinubu might make she Maki the Minister of Youth. Don't be, I saw that post yesterday. Tinubu might make She Maki Day's son the Minister of Youth. And you guys when I open eye, they look like this. Absolutely nothing wrong. If you know you can deliver, at least prove yourself. Is this your is is like introducing the family to the politics? If you give your child the 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 same opportunity you are going to give to someone outside. Why can't you give your child that opportunity? 
That is why some parents, their child are so angry with them. You are willing to, uh, to invest billions on someone outside based on trust, but your whole child inside, you cannot because you are skeptical that you cannot deal with that boy if the boy or if that girl decides to go, uh, to go sideways on you. You cannot invest on that child. You are the coward. So I'm fully in support, man. Honestly, I'm fully in support. He, he, he did it well. If it's me, I'm going to do the same. I'm going to give. Why can't I give my child the opportunity I can give another person? Let them prove themselves. If they mess up, they will ruin their political life, their political career. They will ruin it. So if they act well, yes, people will like them. Then they start gaining ground. Also with businesses as well. With little things. It's not about politics. Also with businesses. Your parents should allow, give your children the opportunity don't say they are into, into your wealth. Give them the opportunity to become men and women. But you do I'd rather you rather give the opportunity outside. I'm not saying it's not good to help outside though, but still also help your children as well. Some people, some people don't do that. They just pay school fees, pay food, pay feeding, give pocket money. But things that's life. Then let's move past that. You know, Fresh Montana and Sweli, they are currently in uh, Nigeria. Koresh Montana and Swali, they are currently in Nigeria, courtesy of Davido. Davido brought out his security personnel. His cars gave it to them. It's not as if they do they Nigeria, they do they Nigeria. But he gave them, say, so in other words, use this car, use my security personnel. No, not just they okay. Swali and uh, Swali, am I pronouncing it well? And Fresh Montana are currently in Nigeria. And they're going to make, uh, I think they are working on a music video, which they're going to release really, really soon. And uh, of course, you know, one of all those things about entertainers, even our own as well, when we're, we're, whenever they visit a country, eh, the first thing first for the male, oh, the first thing first eh, is to taste the punani of that country. Yes, so. Oh. That's the first thing, the first thing, the first thing. The first thing is to taste the punani of that country first. And the girls, and girls always they are valuable for them. So I saw a picture of uh, them uh, coming out from a club and these girls were just following them inside the car. They will not tire. <laughs> Even our own artists too. So there's nothing, any girl may want to allow me the knock and the knock man. Even our own artists, too, when they go abroad, that's the same thing they do. You see Ruga as they rock get people, get friends from stage abroad. So they still will come here, go rock get you, I guess. If you allow your daughter, maybe they rock get down, they rock get down. If you allow your sister, they rock get down, they rock get down. <laughs> if you allow your girlfriend, maybe they rock get down, they rock get down for you. But thank you guys for watching, support your girl. I'm slaying, have a wonderful day, stay blessed.